Every one of us, as a child, has dreamed of flying. From the Jetsons to Blade Runner, from back to the future to the fifth element. You are fired! Flying cars have been our desire for more than 100 years. I'm Deckard, Blade Runner, 26354, I'm filed and monitored. We were promised to have them around by the early 2000s, but they never happened. Where are we? When are we? We're descending toward Hill Valley, California, on Wednesday, October 21st, 2015. 2015? I mean, we're in the future. In 2010, a successful entrepreneur and ambitious visionary with deep enough pockets embarked on a mission to bring flying cars to the masses. Talking about the future, what is it about you and transportation systems? Yeah, I just became a bit obsessed with transportation systems. While his fellow entrepreneur billionaires are focused on the space race, Jeff Bezos with Blue Origin, Elon Musk with SpaceX, and Richard Branson with Virgin Galactic. I'm an adult in a spaceship with lots of other wonderful adults looking down to our beautiful, beautiful Earth. Google's co-founder, Larry Page, is determined to make flying cars a reality. And I just don't find that very interesting. Uh, we should be building great things that don't exist. Here is the story of how Google's co-founder spent hundreds of millions of dollars in funding to start the eVTOL revolution, and how now he owns not only one, but three of the leading personal air mobility companies. I mean, the acceleration and the speed at which you fly. Larry Page's first interest in a personal flying device is traced back to 2009 when he was inspired by the Puffin, a single-passenger all-electric tailsitter design presented by Mark Moore while working for NASA. The only way to really have fast transportation is if you can start taking advantage of more degrees of freedom, like three dimensions in, in the sky. It led Larry to establish Z-Aero in 2010 under the leadership of Villain Crew. The Stanford Aerospace professor was one of the first to realize that advances in lightweight airframe materials, computer control, batteries, and electric motors could enable small electric aircraft. His 2011 personal aircraft patent application describes a safe, easy-to-control, and compact aircraft configuration that is enabled through the combination of multiple vertical lift rotors, tandem wings, and forward thrust propellers. But Larry Page's ambitions were bigger than one single aircraft. We want to have more ambitious goals, uh, and I think with that we could easily double kind of human progress and the rate at which we're, we're, we're developing. In 2014, Page acquired Opener, then known as Skycar. Marcus Lang, Opener's founder, came up with his aircraft concept in 2009. The prototype took off to the air for the first time at his home in Canada. October 5th of 2011, we conducted our first uh, manned flight, and uh, uh, the results of that were um, excellent controllability. In 2012, Marcus made a patent application that describes something very similar to the current opener's black fly. Larry Page wanted Sebastian Thrun to oversee his growing flying vehicles companies. He led Google's questionable street mapping and self-driving car projects. We think of who is the Thomas Edison of our time, I would say it's, it's Larry Page. Um, so a lot of what we do is, uh, is based on his insight of, of looking to the future. The same was true for the self-driving car. He was the person who brought the self-driving car into Google, firmly believing it'd be a great, great business opportunity. He also brought his own ideas, including the Flyer, a single occupant lightweight flying boat. This would be developed under a new company, Kitty Hawk, of which Thrun would be CEO. Kitty Hawk started receiving orders for the flyer, and even YouTuber Casey Neistat gave it a try. I did my training yesterday. My inaugural test flight will be in about, about 20 minutes. But flyer wasn't ready. Technical problems, safety issues, and unresolved questions about its practical use. The safety vest, it has a little bit of flotation in it, and then this is uh, tear resistant, a little bit of a uh, shoulder padding, protective. This is all the protection I get. Behind closed doors, Flyer encountered problems, frequent breakdowns and fires involving batteries and electric motors, including a fire at the Google-owned building.
Sebastian Thrun ultimately brought Zero under his control and the Kitty Hawk brand. But Opener CEO, Marcus, continued to report directly to Larry Page. Opener shared nothing, not hardware, not software, not personnel. Opener elected to not participate in the Kitty Hawk venture. One source said that, Marcus hates Sebastian. <laughs> uh, first of all, these are not cars. They have no wheels, they just fly. So should we call them something else? Call them whatever you want. <laughs> but Page sees the enmity between the CEOs of his flying car startups as a feature rather than a bug. He wanted rivalry among the engineers because no matter who won, Page won too. In 2019, WISC was established as a joint venture between Boeing and Kitty Hawk to continue the development of the Cora design. Kitty Hawk retired Flyer in 2020 and focused on Heaviside, a single CD VTOL aircraft with a top speed of 180 miles per hour and a 100 miles range. Heaviside is small and features eight tilt rotors, which make it especially quiet. Kitty Hawk claims that it can take off and land in a 30 by 30 feet space and is 100 times quieter than a helicopter. However, the release date and potential market application of this single-seater aircraft remain to be answered. On the other hand, the third Larry Page company, Opener, will start to deliver the Black Fly at the end of 2021. Black Fly is an ultralight single-seater EV tall aircraft that features a tilt body architecture. You won't need a pilot license to fly it and it is expected to have a price similar to an SUV vehicle. Although Opener's Black Fly speed and range are considerably less than Kitty Hawk Heaviside, the simplicity of the design makes it affordable for mass adoption. Larry Page is embarking on a bold attempt to corner the market for flying cars as it emerges. They are doing something that wouldn't happen unless you're actually doing it. And um, I think the more you can do things like that, the bigger impact you have. Hedging his bets with multiple aircraft companies, Whisk, Kitty Hawk, and Open, three of the world's most advanced flying car projects compete for Larry attention and funding. That's about doing things that are, you know, people might not think are possible. And I've been amazed, the more I learn about technology, the more I realize I don't know. And that's because this technological horizon, the thing that you can see to do next, the more you learn about technology, the more you learn what's possible. These three eVTOL projects were possible by the vision and wealth of an entrepreneur, and it will pay as the future of personal air transportation takes off. Yeah, sure. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no.